Alright, so the elk just vanished. Again. These Oregon elk are magical elk. So we're just gonna walk back to Janu. And then we're, we, we're gonna try and blast the ones across the canyon. I have no idea where these ones went. They probably just went down the creek and they just went straight down to the bottom. Alright, so we have a bunch of elk on the mountainside that's well over a thousand yards and so we have one spike and then the whole herd from what you guys see on the screen right now the herd is to the left of the spike and there's a bunch of them but we're just gonna take our time and we're just gonna slowly pick them apart see if there's any big bulls but I feel like these cows right under us they just went down there Chinook said you heard the mewing down there so that's the only explanation because we didn't see them cross over or go back out so they probably just went down we'll see first first legal bull spotted and we're only 35 minutes into our hunt yeah there's like 20 of them yeah it's a whole herd yeah. i believe there's three spikes there's three different spikes there could possibly be four unless we're just looking at the same spike and counting them twice but there's three spikes and there's a bunch of cows um no big bulls with the herd so right now what we're doing is we're actually just waiting to see uh where they go bed because they're, they look like they're slowly going to the left and the left is just timber and that that side right there is actually the same exact spot where my brother shot his deer last year and so you guys can see the sun is eventually going to hit them and so we just want to know where they're going to go bed that way we can have, make a game plan and know how to work around it so uh, right now it's just a waiting game and it's, it's all about patience so we're going to give them all the time they need once we get the general idea of where they're gonna go bed then we'll make the multiple mile hike to get on top of them the one that's running right now they're all running oh. yeah, they just went through <laughs> I was like, oh. all right so we were just still just sitting here just waiting for the out to bed and the deer, some deer, they just came running right there, right behind us, over there. Alright guys, so we were still just sitting here. We were still waiting for these elk down here to make their way to the bedding. And then so I was just glassing around. And then I spotted a different herd. That's awesome. Alright, so we have three spikes and we also have a raghorn bull. We could potentially work the raghorn bull first because the road comes right basically to them first. And then we can continue to walk the road and then go down to this down here but the elk are out they're feeding so whew, it's just a matter of getting there at the right place right time and the right one so across last time we saw the elk they were just right down here but we think they're working towards the timber because today's kind of hot so we think they're gonna be bedded by the timber so the wind is not helping the wind blowing straight to them so we'll figure out a game plan
All right, well, right now it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. We spotted the elk across this canyon. We came over here and basically we couldn't get here fast enough. It took us about an hour just to get on this side. And by then the elk, they already moved off into the timber to the bedding areas, we're assuming. We actually tried to pursue them, it's just too thick. And then we came out over here, we're in the open and we just decided to just sit down, just lay low, and just wait for the evening when they come back out and feed. And so we're just kind of basically taking our chances here. Hopefully they come back out and feed in this particular uh, hillside right here. Because if they do, then maybe we'll get a crack at one. But this is the mountain where we saw those branch bowls. This little ridge right here on the other side, that's where we saw the spikes in the cows. We spotted them seven o'clock this morning, way up on this ridge over here. We hiked four and a half miles all the way around just to get on top. And then we basically had a wait. So we started working our way down. They were just bedded right in here. The intersection, the, the road curves back like this and they were just bedded right in there. And the one that popped out on the road right there was a spike. Dead me, but I think that was the, one of the more mature cows. She popped up right on the road, but the rest of the herd, they came right, running right down here. The cow that we saw, she kind of saw us, so she, she booked it down here, connected with the herd again, and then they all went.
All right guys, so we just made it back to the truck. Uh, day three is officially over. Right now it's about 8.30, exactly 8.30 actually. And so I'm just gonna start doing this at the end of these videos. Uh, hopefully you guys better understand how the day went. So basically I'm just gonna quickly recap uh, how the day went for us. So we parked here this morning. We left the house around 4, 4.30ish in the morning. Uh, we got here around 5.15. And so we started hiking up right here. The moment we got up to the ridge, we actually heard some twigs breaking this morning, but we couldn't see anything. So we continued to turn around that little that little corner because right behind that corner is uh, where my brother and I, we wanted to glass for the morning. And so the moment we got there, we haven't even started glassing. You know, it was still kind of dark, you know, meaning that it was just light enough where you don't need a flashlight to see. But um, when you look out in the distance, it was really fuzzy. It was like about that time of the day. We got over there, heard some twigs breaking right beneath us, like probably no more than 100 yards. And so we just kind of stood there listening because we had an idea that it was elk because only elk make like that kind of noise. Uh, and then sure enough, about like 30 seconds later, my brother's like, hey, it's right there. And sure enough, there's a cow elk about 100 yards. And she was actually working towards us, which we think there was actually another elk or two other elk uh, right beneath us. So she was actually the third one just working her way uh, to those other two elk. But then eventually we just lost them. We we have no idea where they went. And so we was like, oh, whatever. Screw it. We're just going to keep glassing. We'll do our plan A. So we glassed. We found a herd of elk right where my brother shot his deer last year. And that herd ended up having three spikes and a total of 11 cows slash calves. And so we were just basically waiting for them to work their way up to go bed. That way we could do a spawn stock and kind of have an idea of where they were going to bed. That way we knew how to move. And so while we were waiting for them to bed, we actually glassed another herd, uh, basically the canyon over. And that herd basically had two branch bulls. I believe it was a three point and a four point and then a cow and a calf. And so we're like, okay, well, we have those two herd spotted. So we hiked four miles around to get on that side. And then uh, basically the four, the two branch bulls, they worked into the timber and we basically couldn't cut them off because we took too long. It took a little over an hour to hike those four miles. And so we were like, screw it. We're just gonna go and basically wait for the evening when the elk come back and feed. So we slept from 10 o'clock, or we didn't really sleep. We just kind of stayed still for from 10 o'clock to three o'clock in the afternoon. And then we kind of figured out that maybe the the branch bulls they weren't going to come back to that exact feeding area because it seemed like they were just they were in transition to go from one place to another place and they just happened to stop by that little point or that little hillside where we classed them so we hiked over to where we think the herd the first herd we spotted was, which was the three spikes and those 11 cows were and sure enough we got over there and we basically ran right into them uh, we believe that they were working their way towards the same uh hillside that we saw them feeding earlier this morning and so we cra we basically just crashed into each other and like the herd kind of just crashed around i let out one mule all the elk just stopped and then one elk popped around to the road and when when we heard that was coming on the road we were praying that it would be a spike or at least half a spike but she popped out and it was just two big old ears and she basically just uh, busted us long story short she barked a couple times and then basically we we were in the middle of the herd so the herd was over here and we were in the middle and she was alone and so the moment she had a chance to run straight to the herd she took it uh, i got it on video i don't know how i don't know how loud the audio captured her running but it was pretty loud and sure enough we got over there we turned around sure enough the herd they were just kind of gathered at the end of the road and you know there were the spikes in there there were the cows and basically they lived to see another day so and then we just decided to come back because we had a long hike back uh yeah that's basically how day three went uh, a lot of action every single day we're out here we're getting a lot closer you know the elk they're not talking they're still in the summer phase big bulls are still together cows and spikes are still together so calling them is not really an option it's more of a spawn stock and again be at the right place at the right time so hopefully the pre-rut starts kicking in soon but that's about it hopefully you guys are enjoying this series that's gonna be it for this video so thanks for watching as always guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.